So I'm not a bartender. I don't know much about making cocktails. But I know somebody who does. This is Jen. You've met her in our 368 video. She helped me get the taco bar setup done. The way we met is because she kind of offered herself up at my first 368 party and told me she was a bartender. And I was like, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I need a bartender to show me how to do things. So here we are. We have a New York City bartender here. You're going to show us how to make uh, an awesome margarita, huh? Perfect margarita, would yep. you say? Uh, perfectly New York. <laughs> you told me everyone said this is my regular is Your killer recipe. Yeah. So tell us about yourself. How'd you get into bartending? Where do you work? Ooh, What's going on? Um, well, I think like most people, bartending kind of started just for money. It's New York City and there'll always be a bar job. And it was after school and the only experience I had was in Philly. But uh, I got my start, finally got that one New York experience bar job that I could put on my resume and then it just kind of snowballs and then found that I really love it and people have a good time. Well, I feel like there's a lot of similarities between cooking and making a cocktail, especially oh, in the way that you think about it. Especially here, we're thinking about how we're gonna take a photo of it, how we're gonna present it. There's all these ways, do you make it a whole rim of salt, a half rim of salt? You're gonna show us some ways to garnish a lime really cool um, and just kind of go over some tricks. And we're gonna start a little series where we bring Jen on every now and then. She's gonna teach us how to make a really classic cocktail up to the standards of a New York City bar. So, you know, it's good to know you for this kind of stuff. Cheers. So let's get started. So all just right. like the kitchen, we have to uh, mise up all of our stuff, have it all prepped. So they, don't that... know, they don't know what mise up means. <laughs> so your mise en place, uh, everything in its place, everything ready to go. So what do we have? So your classic uh, margarita has come to be uh, tequila and Cointreau, triple sec. Everyone asks for Casamigos, huh? Yeah. Okay. Casamigos is the, the tequila of the, of the year, if not the last couple of years. What's this guy? Cointreau. What is that? This is a triple sec, so. What is that? An orange liqueur. Okay, good. <laughs> yes, and this one is Cointreau. It's uh, French in origin. Essentially, triple sec was the response to curacao. Um, it's gonna be drier than curacao. Is it um, curacao is like the same thing? Exactly, so they're both orange liqueurs, but curacao is gonna be like the sweeter brother. What triple sec really means is sec in French is dry. So the theory so is, is like triple dry. Then triple sec. This is triple sec. So Cointreau is triple sec. And curacao, what you'll find That's is so like, That's so it's confusing. really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> they do the same thing, but they're not the same thing. Yes. Okay. This is drier. Shh. Hey, hey. All right, so we got the orange yeah, liquor, and what is that doing in this drink? Um, that's gonna add a nice touch of sweet and orange. Cool. Yeah. So you got the orange playing with the citrus. Um, yeah. We're gonna add a little sweet enhancer. Simple syrup. Uh, homemade simple syrup. Yeah. How do you make that? We are doing a one-to-one, -one, so it's equal parts sugar, any sugar you have at home, um, and water, so. Just put it in a pot, get it on the stove, bring it to a boil, let all of the sugar dissolve, mm -hmm. and then let it cool down and it'll thicken. And you know, you keep it in some sort of glass or whatever, but I like these little plastic squirt bottles. They're super cheap. You get them in like a hard, you get them in hardware stores, right? Uh, no, oh, yeah. Not hardware. Uh, Dollar store? What is that thing called? Craft? Yeah. You get them at a craft store. Squeeze bottles are great because you can do very little amounts, very controlled way, so. Um, and then we have limes, of course. Oh yeah. I got some jalapenos. Maybe we show how like you might make this an extra step and make it a jalapeno. Well, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, spicy margarita is definitely super popular. But the only difference is you're just smashing it, muddling yep. it into we the tin? We can muddle up some jalapenos right into the tins that we're gonna mix the cocktail in. Or if you have the extra time, you could cut these up, throw them in the tequila bottle, have it infuse, and become a jalapeno infused tequila. Could you roast it and then just pop them in there? A little sweeter, sweet spicy. Uh, yeah, but then just make sure to taste the tequila as it's infusing because you're going to want to strain out those seeds before it goes overboard. Or not. Maybe that's like. an experiment. Yeah. Show us how you prepare limes. So you wash your limes um, and you're going to make sure, uh, for safety's sake, that they are dry. Towel dry them, 
um, and just make sure you can handle it. It's not gonna slip with your tools. You dry them for safety so they don't slip? Yeah. Oh. Um, this is a little trick uh, some friends of mine showed me behind the bar. Um, it's called lime tattooing, where you tattoo your limes. Um, it's nice if you paid attention during the 368 taco event. Actually, we snuck some in there. Yes, um, I love that. that was a nice touch. <laughs> it's the little details that really like get the attention. Um, so this is a nice uh, fruit zester uh, that has nice little channels in here. And then you just tattoo the lime by starting down. And you can make whatever pattern you want, really. Um, and what's nice is if you have a nice dark line, you get this contrast between the pith mm. and that dark skin. So let's try something more organic, like a fan. And one tip is that you're actually moving, I'm moving my left hand with the line more so than I am the actual zester tool. Um, so you can, yeah, you can get fun with it. I love it. Write out not another cooking show on it. Could you? How? Oh. And then sometimes you don't have to focus so much on getting a perfect pattern because you know you're gonna cut it up. Um, what's nice for lime wheels is if you go from top to bottom, uh, perpendicular to cutting up a lime wheel, because then you get these nice little marks on the outside. Do that. And then you get a nice lime wheel with like some cool edging. And then imagine if you, it's called a courtesy cut, you put that on a nice highball glass or something. It's just extra, extra detail. Yeah, so you can see, then you'll get like these wedges that are kind of. Mm. Okay, I need a twist. For a nice twist, you can go kind of super light and get as little pith as possible. So you're not trying to press hard on it. Yeah, and then I, I happen to have a peeler that is pretty forgiving. Um, so with any citrus fruits that you make twists from, um, you can take those twists and just have them like this, kind of old fashioned, uh, fresh cut, or you can manicure them and go an extra step. Uh, just looks nice. Take the tip of your knife, cut off the sides, uh, and then you have a nice manicured twist that you can kind of curl up throw in a glass, throw it on a skewer. Just pour it into a, a thing like this, or would that be hard to do what you want to do? Okay. Then with a bowl? Yeah, shallow bowl. So we've got some of our salt. It's just diamond kosher salt. We've got it in like a little bit of a bowl so we can sort of control what we got going on there. We got our simple syrup. And we've got our squeezed lime juice, fresh, our Casamigos tequila blanco, and then some contro, contro, some quan. Uh, quantro. 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 Yeah. Quan. quan. It's like Juan, but quan. Uh, <laughs> so take us through making one. We're gonna make a regular one, and then I'm gonna have my hand at a jalapeno one. So mise en place, everything's here within reach, so I can move quickly. So what do you want to have done first? Have the cup salted or the drinks made? First you want to prep your glassware, for sure. Okay. Uh, the last thing I did was grab the ice, because you want the ice to be as dry as possible, not sitting in its own melted yeah. liquid. If you have a set of tins, cool. Um, I like to build in my short tin. Uh, so we're gonna prep our glasses, and those butts from the garnishes before come in handy, because you can just go ahead and kind of smack around the rim. We're gonna do a half rim. <laughs> Let me show. Nice. And you just tap it in exactly like that. Like that? Like you've done this before. Kind of clean it up a little. Nice. And then clean out the inside. Clean hands. Uh, so that it doesn't go into the cocktail itself. It's just on the outside for licking. So that's and these correct. are chilled glasses. Yes. Um, so we have our salt rimmed glasses. Um, and then what you want to do is just keep yourself Organized so that as soon as you're done shaking the cocktail, you can pour it in immediately um, and it won't over dilute. I'm just gonna add the ice in the glasses first. Those ice cubes that are like silicone molds or like the big cubes would be Yeah, nice. so like industry standard now is uh, actually from like a cold draft machine, so like a nice thick 
dense cube. The idea is yeah. it melts slower. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And then right before I build my cocktail, I just make a note that I am right-handed. So I'm gonna pour in from the right side and I don't wanna mess up these nice salt rims. Yeah. So I'm facing them this way. Glass is prepped and ready. I like mixing into my small tin. So I'm gonna take a full two ounces of the tequila and you hold your jigger level and then you can flip it over. Tequila is done. Then I like to go with my fresh squeezed lime juice. I'm gonna do like a fat three quarters of an ounce. Pour that in. Lime is done. And we have Cointreau. I like to do about half an ounce. Done with Cointreau. And then I'm gonna get my little baby jigger. So we only want a small amount of this homemade simple syrup. I'm gonna do like a shy quarter of an ounce. And that's it. Couple cubes, five, six. What's the, what's the goal here? The goal here is for dilution uh, to be a part of the recipe. So you want to shake hard and fast you're not looking for aeration. So there are a couple of different shakes, that's another video. But this one is for water to be a part of the recipe. And so, so. you're shaking it till like this is frosty? Yes, okay. so whether you're stirring a cocktail or shaking it, uh, when you start to feel like it's too cold to hold, um, you're done. And then you just add your ice in. I'm gonna create a seal with the top and bottom tin. And this is home ice, so you probably don't have to go that long. That's so refreshing and like light. What are you doing over there? Nothing. So I, like I don't love tequila, no. and this is like um, it's like really balanced and. And like it's, like it's like drinkable. In you know what I mean? Yeah. I Balance. hate when I have something and I'm just like fighting to drink it. Mm -hmm. I can taste the tequila, but it's not like tequila sometimes gives me that like gaggy feeling. Yeah. This is actually enjoyable. You might have changed my mind on tequila. That's the goal. Now if I wanted this to be frozen, what would I do? Just same, add the same thing, but you just take this whole glass and like pour this it into the blender. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. But then, no need to shake it. You're just adding the elements to the blender. Exactly. Um, exactly what you said, it's balanced. You get your element of sweet that kind of cuts the tart, but then the tart really just like brings out the, the orange and... And it, this, I like the salt on the side because I can like use my tongue and bring it, bring it over to what I want. <laughs> so this is your recipe for margarita this summer. I mean, this is legit. What, how, much do you, how much do you charge for this? At a, this will be anywhere from ten to eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right, I want to make one. I want to make a jalapeno one. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So can I just can I just shake it? Won't that beat it out of it? You can, but you so, really want to like squeeze out that. So like how many sli like two slices? I would start with two to three, yeah. Um, and then if it's not spicy enough, you can always add. Goes right in. Oh, if they're gonna be that thin, you can throw all those in. Ooh. It's spicy. Yeah, <laughs> it just went to my eyes. So I want to put everything in here first. If you had a muddler, we would muddle first. Rolling pin? Do a little muddle with this. So is that like... That's great. Contro. Half ounce. Yes. Nice trigger hold. Three quarters ounce. I'm trying to hold it level. Yeah. Half of... Sweetener? Uh, a quarter. Unless you want it more sweet to balance out the spicy, you just put in there. So I'm gonna do a little sweet. Bigger flare. All the way up to the top? All the way up. To the very all top. All the way up. Yep. No lines. All the way up. Ice. On the glass as well, so that's ready to receive it. Oh. Hard and fast. Like that? Good. Flip it over. Yep. Nice. <laughs> It's cold. It's freezing. How do you get it out? So you wanna you wanna hit like where it starts to seal. You wanna hit there. Like with, there. Like, palm strike it. Yeah. There. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. You're a natural. Okay, now, what's the deal with here? So this is a 
Basically, the, the strainer creates a gate, and you can have an open gate for things that are like thicker drinks, or you can close it. So I want to close, I don't want it like this, I want it closed so it strains. Yeah, you want to you wanna keep all the stuff you muddled from getting through into the glass, and then you're good. Damn! <laughs> okay, here, I want you to taste it first and tell me how I, how I did. Oh, I get to taste yeah. it first, all right. I can't even straw taste it. I gotta burn my lip. <clears throat> Ooh, you okay. know what? It's enough to taste the jalapeno. I kind of want it. I could stand spicier. Okay, let me try. You taste it, but the heat. Why is it not like, so spicy? I don't know. You know, I still like it anyway. <laughs> I'm happy. I didn't know I liked margaritas this much. Mm -mm. Now you do. I think it's because now I know how to make a good one. Now everyone does. High five. Tell the people where you're gonna be. If they want Ooh. one of these drinks. They want to give you a nice tip. Where can they see you? Oh, a couple places. Uh, Saturday nights at 21 Greenpoint, and Thursdays, Fridays, Sundays at Dirty French. Dirty French. Dirty. I like that place. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you so much, Jen. I yeah, really appreciate cheers. that. Thanks for having me on. More I guess cocktails. we're going to do some mojitos next time. Oh, hell yes. All right, we got to put that on the books. Yeah. What are you doing over there? Secret, secret. We have to finish the show. You need to finish that drink. It's so good. I can't believe it. Solid. I'm not kidding you. This recipe is phenomenal. Ooh. So good. I and mean, what's more fun than having like a little bar set up and then being able to actually bust out? Ooh! I just got some jalapeno kick in there. <laughs> Show us what you got. Yeah, put that in your hand. Let me see. Look at this. Well, thank you for this. This is very impressive. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks this for is, having me on. This is legitimately fantastic. And I'm not I'm not saying this because of the show. Like, I am utterly impressed. I can't wait to make this all the time. Thank you for watching. Thanks to all my patrons scrolling down below. Thanks to Jen. Go check her out at uh, the Dork the, Web. The Dork Web the dork on Instagram. Web. Yeah. The Dirty French. Um, 21 Greenpoint. 21 Greenpoint. I'll leave all this stuff down below. Go show her some love. She deserves it. She's the greatest. That's all I have today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.